Oh, hello everybody. Excuse me, Brenda here. Um, okay, so today there has been some interest in my little uh, folio that uh, I made the other day. This one here. So I am going to um, show you how I did this. Um, but first, I wanted to show you real quick my little spring dosa dough. I love, love, love the colors here. Um, where did I get? I cannot remember offhand where I got my digital from, but I definitely will put it in the description box below. It absolutely skipped my mind. So for the first one here, um, I have a little tag in here that's stuck a little bit. That goes right in there to the, in the side pocket. This is not all the way finished, but I um, I was so excited I want to, wanted to show you what we had here. So this is. The signature in the um, first side of the dosa dough got some papers in it. This is a um, photo card that I had colored with um, inks. You know how you just uh, put it on your block and squirt some water on it and wet it down, and then I just dunked it in. Okay, and then you let it dry, and after it's all dry, you take a piece of dry cloth and wipe it, and the color turns absolutely gorgeous. On And I used the photo side of this paper. The other side is blank. Um, and then I uh, stamped these uh, little flowers all over it with the um, ink, same colored inks that I used to color it with. And I absolutely love how that turned out. Gorgeous. So that I've just put right in there. And this is the um, middle of the signature here. And I just put some, you know, variety of papers in to make the signature. And let's see. Okay, here is the end of the first sig the first signature. And um, right here, I had a little bit of an accident where the glue, it stuck to this page, so it tore just a little. So I added a little embellishment there to um, heal that little tear. So this is the... Um, last of that and then of course you turn it like this and here we have the second signature this time i put in two signatures in the dosa dough the last time i just uh decorated the back side but this time i wanted to try it with a signature and i think it worked really well so we have a pocket here and we have the signature papers are beautiful and i will um, uh, let you know where I got the papers from. I just love these papers. Um, so we have, um, the variety of papers in this signature, just about like the first signature, like this. And then this is the last page of this signature. And I have a pullout here and I made this belly band, has a little tuck in there. And this is an altered um, window envelope that I um, made the belly band from, and that just tucks right in there. And this folds like so, and this closes, and there you are, back to the front. I just love these little dosy dos. Love them. So I wanted to show you that. And then 
um, I think I already showed you the uh, the little folio. I think I did. I showed you that. The only thing different I did was put a little closure on that. So let me get set up and we will make one of these little folios. I take the little button closure off. Put that aside. And if you remember right, this opened up. We had these flaps here. And you can, of course, decorate decorate this any old way you please. Flap, flap. And then this opened up. But I added the two little, um, the little closures here like that. And this opens up like so. So we will get started on making one of these, hopefully, if I can rem remember. There, how we did it, or how I did it, I should say. I'm gonna set this aside, put this away, dig out my scoreboard, because you are going to need your scoreboard. And I am going to get my scoring tool, make sure I'm on camera. And I have got a, just a plain old uh, 12 by 12 sheet of paper. I am going to take this part off at the top. <clears throat> Real quick, I may be off camera. Okay, so we are going to put our paper on our scoreboard. We are going to score first at two and three eighths. That's two and one, two, three slashes over. Two and three eighths score right down. And we are going to come over here and score at seven and one fourth. Seven and one fourth. Okay. We are going to turn clockwise one time, like so. So we have our two lines going this way. So we are now going to score at three and seven eighths which is three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven slashes over, three and seven eighths, four and one eighth, which is four and then one slash over. We are going to score at eight, and eight and one fourth. And that is our scoring. So I'm going to take care of my board. And I guess either side is seeable, I think. I hope you guys can see it okay. Okay, so what we are going to do <clears throat> is we're going to go, see we have the, the shortest part at the top and the wide part at the bottom and we have the two double lines going right straight down here. So on the bottom part, the largest size, we are going to cut out this center little line here um, up to the first score line. So we are going to take our scissors and go right up 
to the score line and the other side right up to the score line. And I'm going to do the same thing on this line, right up to the score line, both sides, follow the line right up and snip that. Let's see if I can get some smaller scissors, but I wanna snip these right off. Okay, I never can get them right down. All right. <clears throat> so now we have, we're going to turn this around and we're going to go to the top of the page and we're going to cut right to that score line like we did the bottom. But it is going to be a little shorter than the bottom. And we are going to snip those little pieces right off. Alrighty, so I am now going to turn the paper so that the smaller part is again at the top, larger part at the bottom, and this first top part that is on your right, I'm going to turn this towards me, and we are going to measure one, we're going to set our ruler on the score line and measure one, give me a pencil, one and three fourths from the score line. So right about here is one and three fourths got my little line and now I am going to draw a line straight across as straight as I can and I am going to cut right along that line if I can see it okay Now this middle one here, this middle one here, we are going to turn into a, um, like a tag top. So I'm going to take my ruler and just go at an angle on this side and draw down. at an angle and I'm going to cut it tag shaped and then I am going to take my little piece turn it over and you can either draw it or um, use that to uh, cut I find it easier for me to just draw it and then I just cut outside that line. So right down to there. And that makes the tag shape. So now I think I am going to take my 
corner punch and I want to just round these corners at the top here. Okay. Now here is where you probably want to decide. Um, I mean, it can go either way. Uh, you can decide if you want it this way or this way. Um, but what you're going to do next is fold the bottom up. And I think this one, I think I cut, I did. This one, I cut like a half an inch off because when it folds up, you're going to want some room to um, insert whatever you would like. So I am going to mark like a half an inch. And draw a line. And cut this piece off just to give it some room at the top. Okay. Now you have room to um, put this down and you have room. Actually, I also, I think, put a little a thumb hole in. And there you go. This one folds up. And um, the same thing, if you want to uh, cut that down a little, because when this folds down, you'll want some room up here. And same with this one. And these are going to fold down like so. And then this is going to fold over like so. So there you have your little folded folio. Okay, guys, so um, something's come up. I'm going to stop right here. I'm going to stop the video right here. I don't, I don't have a pause function or anything. So what I'm going to do is stop the video right here, and I will come back a little later, and uh, we will decorate this. So I will start the next video on um, decorating. Okay, guys, I'll see you in a little bit. Bye.